Who knew that four years ago, a message that I would send would change the rest of our lives? Even though it took you two months to respond to me, um, from that first message back, we've been inseparable. I can remember driving to our first date thinking that it was going to be catfished by someone because you would not video chat with me or send me any pictures. Um, but then I saw you and I knew. You always joke about how I drew the picture of us on the bottom of our candle for our first date and that I've loved you since then, even though that I may have denied it. You were right. We spent that day doing so many things and not wanting it to end. It started out as a couple hours and it went to four and then eight. Before we knew it, it was like 2 a.m. We were just sitting in the car talking. When you walked away, I pictured a life together that would be extended forever. A life with love, support, hopes, dreams, and marriage to last a lifetime. Life will never be perfect, but we've already made it through so much, more than probably our fair share. And then 2022 came, or sorry, 2020 came. Sorry, <laughs> 2020 came and everyone's lives changed forever. We were forced to spend so much time together and learn about, uh, learn about each other in new and challenging ways. But for me, that solidified everything that I needed to know for my future. The way you supported me when I needed you most. How you held my hand and reassured me that it would all be okay when it was the darkest times of my life. I could not have made it through without you. So for the rest of our lives, I want to be that person for you. You can lean on me in the hard times and expect that I'll be there no matter what. I'll also continue to always dance in the aisles of Target, even though you hate it. I'll never stop working to be the best wife, partner, and friend for you. I'm yours with every fiber of my being and will love you until my heart stops beating. You're my soulmate forever and a day. I love you. Having witnessed your vows for marriage with all who are assembled here, and by the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio, I announce with great joy that you are now wife and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you for the first time as a married couple, Mrs. and Mrs. Ross. had my heart for 1,372 days. I can't thank you enough for believing in our relationship so much by uprooting from Kentucky and moving to Columbus so we could finally begin our forever. I promise to love and care for you and I will try in every way to be worthy of your love. I will always be honest with you, kind, patient, and forgiving. I promise to give you forehead kisses when you don't feel well, to hold you when I know you've had a bad day, to rub your head for you to get a little more rest, and every day I will remind you that I choose you, today and every day moving forward. I never quite knew I was missing something before I met you, but you somehow managed to fill this void or missing piece within myself. You are my home, my favorite girl, as you'd put it, right behind Scarlett. Yep. <laughs> my best friend and the love of my life. You've taught me a lot in these almost four years about love, laughter, happiness, and patience. Definitely patience. I have loved you for 1,372 days, and I will love you for every single day moving forward, forever and a day, B and I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. 
I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart.